Welcome back to Real Talk. So tonight we are still discussing the issue of being pregnant and single. So far we've had stories from different women who've experienced this firsthand in their own lives. My next guest is Lydia Windrose. So Lydia is 23. She's a single mother. Lydia, welcome to the show. So Lydia, your story is a bit different. Please walk us through it. Okay, story angu ni different. Juni luktana na baba mtoto angu kama mtu mwenye sijui wa strangers tukaanza kuishi naye pamoja but tuliishi naye like what do you mean alikuwa stranger mkaanza kuishi pamoja like tunakutana unakutana tu na mse anakusaidia the first time like what una... was the issue shida ilikuwa nini okay shida ilikuwa nilitoka home nilikuwa nimekuja kutafuta job Nairobi sa nikakosa job na alikuwa hapo kuni support so then ndo tukaanza kuishi naye so akakupeleka kwake akanipeleka kwake nikaka naye one week tu akaniuliza sasa unaona jetonze life mimi nikamwambia okay acha nifikirie sasa akanipeleka kwa wazazi wake walikuwa walikuwa around Nairobi so at this point mlikuwa boyfriend na girlfriend ama tumile yeah. mtu amepatia kwake wish tulikuwa kwake first alafu sasa ndo nikakuja after meeting parents wake ndo nikakuja nikamwambia na we can stay i'm okay so tukaishi after two months nikakuwa pregnant okay sikuwa najua hata niko pregnant but after some time after four months that's nikakuja nikakuwa msik nikaenda usi nikambiwa uko na ball Waka... so yani ulijua uko na ball after four months yeah. au ku realize at all no no how old were you i was 18 you were 18 and how old was this guy like 26 he was 26 yeah aya umefika ukaza bado mnaishi pamoja vizuri yeah tukaza tukaishi akakuja kanifungulia biashara cause anafanya na matatu industry akakuja kanifungulia biashara nikafanya so kwa hiyo biashara tukakuja tukakuwa na shortcomings nini nini financial nikaiacha kwanza nikaiacha kwanza juu ya crazy mto hii pia nini nini so tumeishi na for three years tulikuwa tu poa and then akakuja akainuka mambo na pesa akainuka akainuka akaanza kuwe kwa tu like vivi so kuna kwanga tu na kale ka shetani unaona mtu ame change uko uko like time yenye anafaa kurudi home sio hiyo time yenye mnafaa kuwe home sio hiyo sasa nikauza shida nini nikimuuliza na kwambia niko na shughuli na hii nimekuwa huko na huko nikaamua kuangalia simu ya simu yake cause hiyo haikuwa kawaida yake nikapata the same like this calling him nini nini na kuangalia yeye anapiga story na mademo mwingine yeah akuanga mtu kama huyo nika call your number kulikuwa na msichana anaitwa Rose kama mimi naitwa Lydia mimi ni wife ya fulani yeah akasema okay i know you and that guy is my husband yani bwana yako ni bwana yake eh yeah. anikamwambia sa you know that the guy has a son and wife at years i know nikamwambia so what's your intention and i'm here to stay okay so that nikakata simu i was so shocked like sikwa na hata nilikuwa na tetemeka at that point siji nifanye nini but then he can he can say maybe ni jo ni jokes after some few minutes uh, my husband I can call akaniambia mbona umechukua simu kupigia watu wenye nafanya nao kazi si ameniambia we ni husband wake na mimi na join the husband wangu na tunaishi nao na wewe so that tukaanza kukorofiana ni nini ni and to know those ladies that wanachukua mzee wako na wa stop like wako very crazy wako tu na wanataka tu kuharibu hiyo marriage you know sa so, hiyo demo alikuja na pressure pressure na mimi nikasema pressure siwe siwezi kama ni mwanaume there's no need to me na mwanaume hizo miaka zote and tufike hapa anza kusema inai so pia niko na ako hiyo side ya hiyo demo nikamuuliza unataka tuishi aje you say tuko na mtoi tumepanga future obvious maneno mingi tumefanya pamoja tutanzaje kuishi maisha ya hivi hivi kila saa tumegombana nini nini ah akaniambia ati kama atmi nataka mwishi wawi wawili mimi nikamwambia no there's no way that is going to happen yeye eh, alikuwa atakakuwa na bibi, bibi, bibi wa kwanza wewe bibi wa pili sasa anaitwa Rose yeah na Rose alikuwa na mtoto wake okay hawakuwa na mtoi but walikuwa natumia njia ati walikuwa na mto 
na mtoto. Sami nika nikaongea na mother yake, mother ya my husband niko. Cuz by that time alikuwa sha ku introduce wana Joendo wife. Yeah, hata nimeenda kwao, tumekuwa very close. Mother kana nichukua kama mtoto wake. So hiyo moment akaniambia we cut up or relax. Maybe tu ni msichana unajotoa wasichana wa Nairobi vile wako maybe amekuja tu hivi hivi na ataenda nikavumilia nikavumilia ikakuja ika kwa the point that you msichana on my case says rest kila time ni ma phone call akikosa akiko, akikosa kukam kwa hao ako huko nikimcall huyo msichana anapika ataanza kunipigia matusi matusi nikachoka mimi nikamwambia mimi nimechoka na ile life siwezi wacha tu 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 separate a akasema ni sawa hata sijui ni nisa waka ikakuja the point wakaingiza mpaka maneno ya uchawi ni nini nini akakuja kanza kuniambia at ni mchawi juma dhake hako anapenda huyo dem akakuja kanza kusema at ni mchawi nimemroga apende ule anipende achukie huyo vitu kama hizo so akaanza ku move out pole pole akachukua vitu zake jo hata nikasema huyo mtu hii ni kama nimekuwa nikimraise peke yangu Ju hata alikuwa na babake but babake ni kama yuko. So sasa hizo mkiachana ulikuwa na job wewe? Ah ah si kwa na job. Na msee amesema sasa anataka kwenda kuishi na Rose, anachukua vitu kwa nyumba. Ah alichukua tu mango zake na akamove out akaanza kuishi. Akaanza akakuachia kila kitu kingine. Yeah. Was he helping you now after Hame aende kuishi na Rose? Alikuwa anakusaidia ile kuangalia maslahi yako ya mtoto wake. Ya kusaidia na alikuwa anasaidia. Sasa hii atuko naye but school fees niende anashughulikia. Hata tumekaa hivi sasa hii tume, tume separate like one and a half year since yours nini it happen. Nikaanza kuwa tu single mom. Mtu wangu pia ni understanding and understand ali ali, ali experience your situation yote but anakuwa ngati tu very calm and very supportive lakini baba yake does he spend time with the child ama yake ni kutuma tu no 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 unaona tu ile time yenye umetoka na mtu hii anaona watu na baba yao mtu yako very sad unamza ni nini sasa siku moja nikakuja nikamkalisha chini nikamza baba sasa nikaacha nikuulize swali vile wewe uko tu hivi sing unaona tuko na wewe peke yangu na unajua baba yako una feel aje kani hug tu alafu akaniambia mama na feel too sad but si niko na wewe nikamwa tu hey that's good i'm very strong at least na je niko na support ya mtu wangu ni zaidi mean come support in future nikisimama hivyo na yeye so interestingly we have a dad in the audience so his name is Aiden your story is different yeah my story is different hebu tuambie i met this girl nikiwa 22 years old So that time nile mna have fun. So one day tulikuwa out na ye. Yeah, we made love. So I call like it's a whole night some minutes. So after some time aniambia Ben iko na ball. Alafu yeye ni kwa siku yenyewe ya kwanza. Kacheze. Yeah, yeah, ilikuwa siku yetu ya. Hamkuwa mmewahi before? No, no, no. Aye, alafu yeye siku ya kwanza 30 minutes tu. Alafu nini kaendelea? 30 minutes. Uh-huh. Okay so after some time akaniambia Ben iko na ball be like ball ball aje na ilikuwa ka that me takaambia ya what do you mean ball aje hata kama that what's my for my biology i don't i see you don't know what ilikuwa nasikia be like people spend time you know uh-huh. that time uh-huh. what do you spend time years unaona ngata you are farm okiona naza pata wana take like two years three years so yetu mm. kwa that yaje so nikamuliza kwa sababu alafu mara ya kwanza mhm kwanza ya kwanza je mm-hmm. so nilikuwa mzaje yeah kaniambia yeah kwa na ball ukadu eh eh nili bolt ni so <laughs> so tukaka nikamwani meet kwanza eh ku meet za wana na tu nikaa na choma jua mtu yangu kwa 22 then na na wako na demana ball na nile atakonsha kila msini yako anakushika <laughs> hey na so you meet how many months pregnant was she uh he like four alikuwa four months mm. so sasa kanaonekana kidogo eh hey, yeah. na uko na shida kwa sababu anakushika na nataka kuonyesha ni yako mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then muskia watu clips siko hata vitu kai zote atakasijipiza nini 
eh so mimi niko na happy vitu kai hizo unaona so tuliongea na yeye tukaongea mimi bado siamini so ndo nataka kujiwa ka ako na chali mwingine Yaani sasa wewe shaanza hata mpaka si yangu ni achali mwingine. Ah yes ikuwa. Naomba. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa 30 minutes one time. Mm. <laughs> so ilikuwa za ah yes. And then so dem after that nilimwambia tu jioni eh siwezi kumi tena. Kaweza mbona? Kambe hakuna but back then nilikuwa jua kwa mind eh huyu ananichomea. Jo uwezi kwa sababu kwa shangi nyingine mta. Asikuwa ataka achomea. So after seven months bado anaongea aniambia oh anipigia uh, picha niambia eh hey, mnaka poa that's all yes. <laughs> ile siku aliza alikwambia eh 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 akaambia hata mtoto aitwe nani ikamwambia mimi nataka nimuone nioneka <laughs> anakufanana kuna kitu yangu eh <laughs> sawa je ni picha ai naona ni kadogo hata mtuoni kani wako lazima unge ndo muone cuz alikuanga so into me So after that ndo nikapata anko zake. Eh so kipata wasikao mabuda. Eh kuna turia. Hapo <laughs> sandal jo eh kitu ni serious. Aongei wakati wapo ongee. <laughs> so hiyo time yote ulikuwa una support with them ile kumtumia kaki kitu hivi mimi ya kwenda hosi ya kuchunga mtu. Yema bado ulikuwa indi nayo. Wewe bado ulikuwa unangoja kuona kama mtu yeye akona nywele yako. Ah si hivyo. Hakuna kitu ningetoa. Mimi niko chuko natumiwa. Si unaona nikahando nikambo lazima Uwezi luka ball, uwezi luka di mto hii. So hapo ndo tuli niliamua tu let me be a man. By then to really how old? 4 months. Alikuwa 4 months. Mm-hmm. But you still you owned up to it. Yeah. So leo unamsaidia in your child's life? Yeah. We tweet. Sisi wote tuko ndani. I want to bring Patricia back into the conversation and I think it's interesting that we've had it from a young man's perspective. I'm shocked that uh, he he thinks 30 30 seconds. Is it 30 seconds or 30 minutes? 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that he thinks 30 minutes are not enough to make a baby. 30 minutes are enough to make a baby. 30 minutes are enough to get HIV. 30 minutes are enough to do very many things. Tell me my one thing that is coming out very clearly is that young people are irresponsible we need to teach more of sex education because we are mishandling sex firstly sex is for married people biblically morally in every aspect of it the only license you have to have sex is a marriage certificate <laughs> if you're not married sex is an all goes on for you number two, i think we need to teach our young children both girls and boys children are planned for children should never be an accident because a child comes with a lot of things responsibility emotionally this child needs parents and so if you are a child who does not know how to be a parent you will be two children in the house That is why we will bring up a generation that is half baked because we are half baked parents. We should have some accountability at the campus level. Right. Because if we go back even to the issues of sponsors, campus. Pregnancies, campus. HIV, campus. I think we need to have some level of accountability at the campus level. Because at this point we are still not mature enough. We But don't you think, think it's not really freedom. don't you think it's also not really the school's place yes the school can put measures in place but bottom line your choices define you because we went through the same campus yeah we had the same freedom available to us and even outside of yourselves you have friends who have the same freedom available to them but they are sticking to what brought them there the books and even if they have girlfriends and boyfriends because you led by saying sex is a preserve for marriage and i said when they clapped i could see they're clapping for the sake of clapping and i think also we need to have a discussion of if you must have that sex protect yourself take the right exactly. measures girls there's exactly. that control exactly yes if you must exactly do not go in blindly because yes. you've said you're grown up enough to do it yes. you must be grown up enough to handle the consequences grown up enough to protect yourself yes I, i thought so myself 
protection is a must have. And just in case, like in your scenario where you said that you will not tell your boyfriend to use protection because you're living together, there's something we call family planning. That is for unwanted pregnancies. So that at least you sit down with your partner and plan for a baby. Anyway, we all make mistakes and we can learn from our mistakes. I believe all of us are wiser now. We've learned from our past and I believe we're not going to make the same mistakes. We need to now take up the full responsibility, go through the process of healing. Actually, you, 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 made, a very, you made a very, 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 very good point. It is better to heal a wound of being left than to be in a relationship where love is not reciprocated. Because again, <laughs> it is better for him to walk out than to live with the trauma and torture of being with a man who's, who just does all the bad things to you. Be good parents to your children. There's a whole world waiting for you out there. There's another good man out there who is waiting for you. We know of people who messed up in the first and they had children and they got good men. I will talk about a person who talks about herself openly, Kathy Kuna, got Alan Kuna, who's a dream man of most women in Kenya. So you can have your Alan Kuna in future. However, <laughs> be careful moving forward. Absolutely. Practice what you have learned from your mistakes. Absolutely. And really, we don't talk about these issues here for, you know, to sensationalize them. It's really just to bring the issues that are affecting young people. You're listening to this conversation here tonight. These are young people. Nobody here was over 25. People are getting pregnant at very young ages. Parents, we must talk to our children. You know, if you're older, you have a, you have a sister, cousin in campus, we must talk to them. We must help them protect themselves so that they can secure their future. Well, remember, you can always join the conversation via our social media, via the hashtag #HashRealTalk. Let me know where you're watching the show from. Well, on this note, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, it's goodbye from me, Tamima, and the crew, plus the studio audience. <laughs>